Welcome to our lecture online. Here's actually a relatively easy JE advanced problem, although you need to be careful because you might get things kind of messed up or, or kind of confused, and so we need to be very careful about how we execute this problem, but other than that, it's very straightforward. So let's read the problem together. We have a small roller right here with a diameter of 20 centimeters, which has an axle that has a diameter of 10 centimeters. It is on a horizontal floor and a meter scale is positioned horizontally on its axle with one edge on the of the scale on top of the axle. The scale or the meter stick is now pushed so that the roller moves without slipping. After the roller has moved 50 centimeters, what is the position of the scale? What will it look like? And here we have four possible answers of what it will look like. So you have to first think about what's happening here. So we have this on a horizontal floor. We put the scale or the meter stick right at the edge on the axle. Then we push the meter stick in such a way that the wheel begins to roll. And when the wheel has rolled 50 centimeters, what will be the position of the meter stick? Well, first of all, we need to realize which end of the meter stick is where. And if you take a look at the possible answers, you see the left side is always at zero, which means the right side is 100 centimeters. So we start at zero, and on this end, we have 100 centimeters. So that's how the meter stick is positioned, and we have to be careful about that. But what is the key concept in this particular problem? Well, we have two cylinders, one with diameter of 10 centimeters, one with diameter of 20 centimeters. And what is the relative position, or what is the relative distance traveled by the surface of the wheel and the surface of, the, of the, um, the axle in the middle. And so what we have to realize is that when it comes to distance, distance is proportional to the radius or the diameter. When we talk about surface area, that's proportional to r squared. And we talk about the volume, that's proportional to r cubed. And this is the main concept. In this case, we're talking about distance traveled, and it will be directly proportional to the radius. So, when we look at that, then we realize if the wheel travels a certain distance and the diameter of the axle is half the diameter of the wheel, that means that the surface of the axle will travel half the distance. So, in other words, the wheel will travel 50 centimeters. And since we realize that the radius of the wheel is twice the radius of the axle, that means the axle will therefore travel half as far, or 25 centimeters. And so that's the key concept in this problem. Now we need to be careful, so which is the correct result? And so you might look and say, oh, it's C because I see 25 centimeters. But that's not the case. It's the distance traveled from the edge of the meter stick to where it stops. And so it's, it, this is a distance of 25 centimeters right here. That means that the, the surface of the axle has traveled 25 centimeters when the, when the wheel itself has traveled 50 centimeters. So this is the correct answer, not answer C. So they try to kind of trick you. I think that's what they're trying to do. So you're clear on that, that when the wheel has traveled 50 centimeters, the axle has traveled 25 centimeters, that means the meter stick will have gone over the axle by a distance of 25 centimeters and stop at the 75 centimeter mark of the meter stick. And that is how it's done. So, tricky problem. Got to be careful here. But you could probably crank this one out in about a minute or two. That gives you a whole minute or two extra for the next problem. <laughs> <laughs>